this is Anna Hoffman with Traffic Generation Cafe. I'm on the quest to finding best Twitter tools to get more Twitter followers. And I'm going to start with my old favorite, Tweet Adder. Um, the three questions that I will be asking and answering in this video is how well can I get targeted new followers with Twitter Adder? How quickly can I follow those uh, potential followers with Tweet Adder? And how easily can I unfollow them with tweet adder. The very first thing we'll be looking at is how well we can target our future Twitter followers with tweet adder. When I go uh, right now, I am at my main Twitter account, which is Anna Traffic Cafe. And um, when I go under that account, the very first thing that I see is tweet search. Here, I can add um, various keywords. Like for instance, if I were to search for traffic generation, if only I could talk and type and chew gum and walk at the same time, that would be great. Um, let's see if I want to look for um, a location of some sort. I'm going to cancel that for the sake of um, this video right now. So I can set the location. Um, I can choose the result types set the language and set maximum results. For instance, right now, I will limit it to 100 results just so that I can speed this up. So now at this point, all the uh, people who mention traffic generation in their tweets um, have showed up on the list. And as you can tell, I can follow them right here, right now. I can uh, save it for later, which means that um, they will end up on my follow later list right here to my left in the left sidebar. Um, and I won't be able to follow them automatically later. That's not what it is for. I will still have to follow them manually. But this way, if I don't want to follow or don't have the time to follow all of them at the moment, I can save them for later and come back and um, follow them later. So again, this is how I search for uh, potential Twitter followers. I can choose to follow them right here right now, I can save them for later, or I can discard this name altogether if I don't see it fit for my business. Now, what else can we do? How else can we uh, search for potential uh, followers? Um, if I go under follow and follow back feature, I can do, I can perform several searches. I can do a tweet search just like I did right now. I uh, searched for traffic generation to find targeted tweets for my specific niche. I can go also go to profile data search and I can add different keywords here. For instance, for instance, if you are looking for travel bloggers, I can add travel blogger here. I can set different parameters like location, number of followers, following and updates. I can also um, set parameters like um, do I want to include profiles with default profile images. And for the most part, if somebody doesn't bother uh, changing their profile image, it most likely means that it's a spam bot or they're just not very interested in this account. So usually I would say uh, I do not want to follow such people. Um, and also profiles with URLs or without them and you can also set the language. So again, quite a few features here to target your potential uh, Twitter followers, future Twitter followers very, very well. I'm going to stop this right now because it might take a while and I don't want to take up too much time. Now, again, location search, very important for those businesses, for those of you who run websites that are location based or who are social media managers uh, with different clients in different locations. Uh, location can be a very important factor when targeting your future Twitter followers. So this is a great fe feature here. Um, of course, as you used to before, you can search for um, Twitter followers of a specific user. For instance, let's see, um, let's search for my users right now um, on a traffic cafe. You can also search for people who are followed by users. So you can search for people who I follow, for instance, and once 
you get the list of them. You can, let's see if I stop this, if I get any results. Oh, there it is. See, so it, it gave me some certain people already, people who follow me right now. And again, I have a choice of following them, following them later or discarding them. And of course you can do, you can perform the search for any, um, let's say Dino Dogan, the founder of Triber, I can search his followers and, um, I'm going to stop it right now. There you go. Uh, there are a few results already, 98 results. That was pretty quick. So I can choose to follow Dino's, um, followers right now or save them for later. So as far as targeting the potential pool of future followers, I think Twitter adder looks like it retained a lot of its um, former features, which were great for targeting and added a few as well. So I would say that this is still an, a good option for targeting specific um, Twitter followers. Now, as far as following them, I've already kind of shown you what your options are. The one thing of note is that you cannot, cannot, cannot automatically follow people at this moment. It's against Twitter rules. So if you ever find a program, a tool, a software that says they can do it automatically, just know that it's against Twitter rules. And, um, I would highly recommend that you avoid that program. So what you can, the only thing that you can do automatically is to follow people back. As you can see right now, I'm in follow back feature and um, I have some options of how many, um, uh, how many, excuse me, how many people to follow at the time and what the intervals are and um, a few other automation settings. So that's the only, automation feature that Twitter allows currently. So what are my choices to follow people with tweet adder? Once again, I can, um, once I've done my, um, once I've done my search, let me just get to something. Okay. So for instance, this is the list of Twitter followers that I want to follow. My only two options with tweet adder are to follow them back right now, which is pretty easy to do. I can, all I do is just to click the button here. So if you are sitting in front of TV and watch your favorite show, all you need to do is just, you know, plop your laptop on your lap, just where it belongs and click, click these buttons very, very quick and easy. Um, I can also um, add the people to my follow later list. That would be your option number two. If you do not have the time to do it right now, but would like to save these people for later, uh, you'll have a choice to do that as well. So two options, um, follow back right now manually but very quickly follow back later so that you can follow them back later manually once again. So let's see the third feature of tweet adder that I wanted to take a look at, as you can tell, it's for whatever reason, it's just a little bit slow right now. Okay. There you go. Unfollow users. So what can we do here? to make this as efficient as possible. Again, there is no automation anymore. So when I go to the list of people who are not following me back, and now I'm going to start embarrassing you guys because do you know, seriously, you're not even following me. So if somebody is not following you back, what you can do is simply click on this unfollow button in the, on the right hand side and um, unfollow them just like that. Again, you know, this is not automated, but pretty simple to do with tweet editor just by sitting in front of your TV and performing some of these manual tasks that we use tasks that we used to be able to do automatically. Not a big deal, but now it does require some manual uh, attention here. So we can find people who are not following me back and unfollowing them. We can find people who unfollowed me for whatever reason. Some familiar faces here. I'm going to have to have a chat with you guys. Um, also, you can unfollow, um, unfollow users who do not have a profile image. 
usually once again that means that they do not attend to their Twitter account or their spam bot so we don't want to follow them anyway fortunately I don't have any followers that followed me with without any profile image um, foreign language yet another feature Ooh, I'm not sure why these people are showing up here maybe because they retweeted something that um, that is not in English. Um, need to check this out a little further, but anyway, just know that you can unfollow users, users based on foreign language, high ratio of followers uh, to friends, inactive users, people who talk too much. I suppose that would be people who send too many uh, tweets. And once again, there are a lot of familiar faces. But you know what? When I choose to follow someone and they tweet too much, there's no such thing. And then people who are too quiet, meaning people that do not uh, send as many tweets. Doesn't mean I need to unfollow them, but I can if I choose to. Um, and that's that. Um, these are your unfollow user feature features. Again, no automation, but pretty easy to do. Um, some of these um, classifications, I'm not quite sure how they work just yet. And of course, Twitter Editor just released their um, new version 4. So I'm sure there are a lot of kinks that they need to iron out and they will at some point. So this is your rundown on the new Tweet Editor as a Twitter um, Twitter tool to follow and unfollow people. Would I still use it? Yes. Um, but I will be exploring other Twitter tools as well and compare Tweet Editor against them to see which one I feel would be the best. If you're interested in learning more about the tools that I will be testing and exploring, feel free to visit the link at the bottom of the video or click on it on your screen if you see it at the moment. Thanks so much again. This is Anna Hoffman with Traffic Generation Cafe.